logistics. I think that's under control now. Imam, you have the floor. Please offer some prayers. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Rahmanir Rahim Malik Yawmid Din. Iya kana abdu iya kana stain. Ihdina sirat al mustaqi masra al jina an tam taalihim. Khair al bahdu bi alihim waladalin. Rabbana innana amanna faqfir lana zunubana wa qina azab al nar. As sabirina wa sadiqina wal ghanitina wal munfiqina wal mustaqfiruna bil ishar. شهد الله أنه لا إله وملائكة وأول العلم قائما بالقسط لا إله إلا هو العزيز الحكيم ربنا أعطينا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وأغنى عذاب النار سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المسلين وقمت لله رب العالمين آمين آمين شكرا نما إمام جالو بشاب يهاب دا فلو بليز شكرا شكرا Lord God Almighty, we continue to thank you for bringing us yet again to another hearing session. We ask that the Holy Spirit will guide uh, the session from the beginning of it up right up to the end, that um, those who will be here coming to testify, that you will grant them the willpower to be able to concentrate on the subject matter and uh, to speak what they know and to deviate from what they do not know. We continue to ask that you will also grant the commission the designing spirit to be able to decipher between the truth and falsehood. And we also pray for the populace in general that uh, they will be patient and that they will not be driven by their emotions to make judgments, but that they will listen and that they will reason and reason well. And we ask that as the sitting continues, Lord, that you will grant patience throughout. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, my Bishop. Council, are we ready with the witness for this morning? If we are, let's proceed, please. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. Um, we are ready to proceed with the next witness. Osha, kindly bring in the witness. Thank you. Thank you. I Muhammad Lamenture. Nte Muhammad Lamenture. Nte Muhammad Lamenture. Do swear that. Mben kali lako. Mben kali lako. I'll speak the truth. Mbe tonya le fola. Mbe tonya le fola. The whole truth. Tonya dama. O drum be wala fola. And nothing but the truth. Adu nte fem fola me manke tonya di. Nte fem fola dinga manke tonya di. So help me God. Oto alama alaye makoi. Mbe ala dani la poa se mpasa se makoi. <coughs> Imam Ture, welcome to the TRRC. Thank you very much. Imam Ture, Bismillah, TRRC. Baraka, inshallah. Thank you very much. My name is Esam Baifal. We have just met briefly. And my role is to assist you to. to provide your testimony to the commission. 
ndom e sambay falati ben ben tala commando wadi sudun kola andun tala do gomenti jam wala min dike dema e la sedan ro nyi ko no burka tambi nyaaro today we would want to discuss the following topics with you bi lumo ben si yo men do dambe la fla kay fanal lel kadia first of all we would, no. want, we would want to know your biography that is your educational background and work experience do ko no wala min de la do ko la educational background la londo ñin do yemen la londo ñi yemen soto e karan o e karan da di ngiral men do andi la do ko ñi ye londo men sonan soto woto the supreme islamic council of which you are president and in supreme islamic council me alon ko etela ma anya ton ko ti what how it was created a lot anya di le what is its status as an organization comme un cafo le même mati ad mune mata la lon kamoti what are its functions ala do ko muneti its relationship with the previous government of yaya jamme man sa kunda men benu jangani supre islamic council ye mu sababu ye mu soto bulu nyo si fa nyadi le soto nyo do do ko to we would also discuss uh, some of the um, decisions Uh, that were made by or pronouncements made by the Supreme Islamic Council or some of its members and numbe kajala fanna la fanna mealon ko kuma kangol le mealon ko Supreme Islamic Council le fanna ye bondi ngani ala ka fudi ngolu we would uh, look at the decision to ban certain individuals and numbe fanna do fanan jube la men kada kangoti mealon ko atata Supreme Islamic Council le menta ka tongola mo ko tongo dol kan Uh, we would look at some of the actions it has taken against certain religious groups or sects in this society and um be fanal fanan jube men keta baro dolti me alon ko super islamic council ye ta ke la mo dol kan we al dina bunda dolti me alon ko ye le kan banko kan basically those are the issues we want to discuss and um nyillem fanal ti be lafla kam men kacha before we start nemba si o commencer la i would want to give you a bit of background and of information as to what we doing and why we doing it bele fra ka kibar dan dan di la jam me muna ya sabu be o kela andu muna ya sabu be o kibar ol be be ol kela andu me ya sabu be ol me be ol kela this is a truth commission established by an act of parliament ni mu commission de me ya lon ko na député bundan ko lu wala ya sabatindi with a mandate to and investigate and establish a true historical record of the violations of human rights and abuses that occurred in this country during the 22 years of jamme and ndo ko men di ta nyin commission la wala nyin tiko ka korosir ke ka jubere ke ko la meyalon ko e keta hadama di nyanta tinyal de meyalon ko e keta im bankun kan jang ka bu yaaya jamme si folo nyin bankun kan wala 1994 sankono fo 2016 na wala na wulta sango men na nyin bankun kan jang ka korosir ke wala ka tari ka lori ngo sabatinda ko to ka londi ka ka mabo we all know that the constitution of this country provides every person living in this country with a freedom of religion and to manifest that religion in any way they deem fit and um be yalla no nyim bankun kan jang mem constitution of loi bu loi bu na bankola kitabu bu ko bañi ay nyanto di hadama di won hadama ni la pour yebule la di di anye di no ni lafta di no di no men ay bulaw di no nyin noma di ate nyaame isara yela lafo di o di na bunda nyin na di ate nyaame but within the confines of the law but and ni bo fanan kala ke ni loi ni sartol ye men fo ya bulaw noma we understand that during jame certain rights of uh, certain religious rights were violated or, or the rights of certain individuals to practice their religion were violated and ngay fahamu la fana ya jamme la man sañi wicho ñi ko no jam mo dantan nu be jam me alon ko la dino ñi la ñanto e men la ñanto e men di la pour ka bulaw di la bundal no ma yi la ñanto wol tiñale and ngo di na bundal fana no fana la yol fana na tiñanto wol tiñale and the mandate of this commission is to investigate what are those violations and nga bo ko no do ko e men di ñu commission la bo ko no wala ñu di mu len ñi ñantol ti men alon ko yow law ñantol ti ñaal mu ne wo ñanta ti ñaal de men laatol kan the causes of those violations mu ne sababu taw ñanta ti ñaarol la yow ñanta ti ñaal men laatay kan mu ne sababu ti la 
the extent of the violations hello sababu ilo nyanda tinyal ni ngata talof ay samba ay tate kan fo wati late kan fo wati jallal fo wati jumalla and who were the perpetrators of these violations jumalla mi nyanda tinyal ali men men ni tinyaro la ni mul kan ke la nyantol tinya and the ultimate objective and nun hamenda menti is to establish the truth about what has happened walam ka tonyan keso sabatin ni meyalon ko muna muna keta so that there would be rekindling and reconciliation isaaje ko je be nyinala men keta jaaralo ke kolla meyalon ko keta mulla so that we can all come together as one as one people of the gambia isaaje be si murun kan nyoga ngam bulol di nyola ngake gambia ngake kilingol di ngam mira kilinsoro nyoe So this inquiry that we are doing ning kis kis ro mbe men na teng is not an attack on any particular religion manke nyin diko nga ya lon ni ne kam ka foko ka boy han be dina fanna kilinkam it's not to question the validity rules or morals of any religion manke nyin diko koro sir ke ka jubere ke dina fanna o fanna ka foko ila to lallon kan ni lon tan dani muna ma nafaati waranto muna ma la yiri wati manke o fananti it is not to question the moral authority of any individual manke nyi di fana ya lon ni ne kam ma fana ka foko kam mo kinkulina la ko jube ala tamanya waranto ala hamum men di waranto kala kol sambanya me dino la karola be dina bunda men to it is not an examination of islam or the sharia law manke nyi di fana commission nyi nyi commission ya lon ni ne kam ka foko ka dina kilin jube ka tombon kala kol kisi kisi ka jube waranto sharia la karola ko fana jube ka kisi ya manke wodi Uh, it is simply to ask the following questions ya lon ni nyim men kam wala min di ko bina men fala jam were any religious rights violated during the 22 years da men to dina fanna o fanna me alon ka ben bangun kan jang andu ngol ya jela ko ila nyanto ni ati nyata le kaw kisi kisi which were those religious rights that were violated munam wo jumal munam wo nyanto dina bundal law nyanta nyanto de me alon ko wol ti nyata le What is the extent of that violation? Wanyanta tinyani ngo tata la futembeda tembeda jumal la o nyanto nyin na otinya. And who was responsible for the violation? Jumale o jumale o baro la o dina bundal kan kila nyanto otinya. That is the inquiry we are embarking upon and that is what we've been doing on this subject from the beginning of the session. wala muñi sioñi lontan lontan kamoti kabriñ ni sioñi sira ñi siora ñan kay ñi ke fanna ñi ka kis kis wala muñi dina ko wala we are not siding with or against any religion we are just looking at the law the laws of the gambia as captured in the constitution and the other laws of the country man kay ñi de sioñi nga si nga sira ñi ne ka maka dina fanna kilin jube ka wol ka wol kajati warando ka bula wol ko no maka kisi kisi be bura bula ring men do ma wolen luwa luwa e men fo banko luwa e men fo nga men ke be wolen no ma man kay ñi de dina kilin no ma ko ko ñi ko no Uh, do you understand sir eh ngamira njikira nyina ya fahamu le ngamen fo sa beteke yes very well uh, do you have <coughs> any questions on that which i may need to clarify before we proceed ngamen fo jam fo nyinin kar soro la welo fakam nyinin ka ban pour une sa sene yandi ba janin be nyinin karol ni jabiro ni commencer la ban follow ma nyinin kar soro for the time being i have no question Thank you Imam. Abarka baake Imam. Uh, can you tell us your full uh, name counsel, please? Counsel just a minute. Uh just want to emphasize the point that you have just made on uh, the purpose of uh, the uh the the commission. Wala fata kam mem bamba ndi jawolam nyindi ko comme counsel mem fo jawolam dalilo me asabu nyin commission nyin alondita. The act um, does provide very clearly bo ko no loi ya sene andi je ko that to create a this impartial record of violations and abuses wolam ka tare ka sahari ngol londi me alon ko sujita ni hadama di ngol nyanta ti nyalla men keta jang it outlined them four main purposes andu ngay fanna nani ay wolel tanni je me alon ko ay sene andi le I'll refer to this um, uh, from the act itself directly. Loa nyin ko no bina je loa nyin ko no men safira je fam fam ngam bina wala karan ne eden. First it is um, uh, 
to promote healing and reconciliation follow follow wala min diko ka ka bambandirke jara lol la ko la men gilata mol kan ngani ka muru nyo kan second to respond to the needs of the victims fulanjang wala min diko ko la ta men kan ila sulandal men de pour ka ka o jaar ka o jaar jaara i kan third address impunity sabanjang wala min diko me men ye ko wol ke pour ka wol fanan jubi wala ko be lala nyamen and the fourth one nani njang to prevent a repeat of the violations and abuses suffered by making recommendations wala min dika de ko nyin ko wol men keta janga kana ke kotan ke andun kana ka commission bina ye recommendation sahare ngota ya safe ka di mansala for the establishment of appropriate preventive mechanisms saje ko ka fenke sahare ngol londi di sila sahare ngol londi me alon ko jaralo be kala ko andun a ko nyin kana murun kan kotan ke nyin bankun kan jang including institutional and legal reforms do ko no wolem do ko bundal la falingo anin luwa la falingo just wanted them uh, to add uh, that on to what council this um, uh, just said about lafita. the purposes L and uh, of the exercise that we are involved in lafita ko wala lafa council e men fo jandron pour ka lafa la diamo nyin kandron pour assistenia mo be ma dalilo me ya sabo nyin commission nyin asa londida i'm so sorry for the interruption but you may continue uh, yes. very valuable contribution mr chair ako ya imam What yeah. are your full names? Sir? Yeah, Imam. Ito kendo nung Muhammad Lamin Ture. My name is Muhammad Lamin Ture. Yeah. Could you give us your date and place of birth, please? Eh, for isi la wulu sang ani wulu da dingira mendo isi je phone mo le naba. 28 September. 28 September. 1955. 1955. Gunjur. Gunjur. can you give us a brief description of your educational background oh ila londo ni na londi karaw ni na fanna la fanna fo iso fanna kam kum ala sutian ka sutian ni mole fo iso fanna dino mole ay tata min do ya kuma se min do la fo ila banta da min do ila karaw fo la fanna la nga karaw start i started uh, going to uh, i started learning mama male bolo nak suoko no from my grandfather in our own compound mimwal mamoto wa wato gunjur he was the <coughs> imam of gunjur at that time ikapae pamadi ture he was called famadi ture for 1965 till 1965 hatabbo jaye karambongo yele gunjur That's the time when Hatab Bojang established a school in Gunjur. Ndunta o karambongoto. I enrolled in the school. Tarata karamola tebulo for 1977. I was learning from him till 1977. Then tarata Saudi. Then I went to Saudi. Ngana BA KJ in Islamic law. I did my BA at Saudi in Islamic law. So nata murung Gambia. Then I came back to the Gambia. Did you do any other studies? In other na karang fanna do fanan kele ba? Exactly nga nga higher diploma ke for teaching Arabic for non speaking Arabic. I also did a higher diploma uh, in teaching Arabic and uh, studying uh, teaching others in Arabic. And when did you finally return to the Gambia? Inarana muruna Gambia bango kanjang wari jumala 1989 I came back in 1989 And when you came back did you become a member of any Islamic organizations within the sub region Bri muruna Gambia bango kanjang fo inarana tara l'islam bunda kafo kafuto lo de bang ngambia bango kanja warando nyi nayi tundo to jamba yes kabre muronta atara ankara mo mai kafo do lo no e kafo me ko islamic solidarity association of west africa yes when i came back 
I discovered that my teacher had established an association called Islamic Solidarity Association of West Africa. So, Janning Kananga Tarate Banda. But before I returned back, uh, he uh, passed away in my absence. So, Kabrinata Yenteta as, as a president for so, that old Oka photo. So, when I came back, I was appointed as the president of that association. From Benin Tembo Mindonde the Oka for the president. Up to this minute, I am still the president of that association. Since 1989, that should be about 31 years. Since 1989, for science, we have And uh, uh, where, in which countries does this organization operate? In Kafuoning, I be banku jellero. Kela kuru ke diamondo. Kabirin binala nung atara a branch also to Ghana. When we were coming back, it had a branch in Ghana at the time. A branch also to Nigeria, Kano. It had another branch in Nigeria at a place called Kano. But Kabira had a father in 1984, Janin Tolbina, Fenjama Kanata Kapoto. But when he died in 1984, <coughs> before I returned, a lot of things uh, 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 stopped being done in the association. So what are the now branch or or will be dropped? That was the reason why those branches were closed. But sign, sign, sign. But right now, at this moment, we operate in Gambia, Senegal, and in Guinea-Bissau. We are operating in the Gambia, Senegal, and Guinea-Bissau. And in addition to that, did you uh, occupy any imamship? When you return to Gambia, any imamship position when you return? I do come from them. Bring him around to Gambia, Banco, and Jamfana. For what is certain that I'm from them? In another case, I can't allow my mother to do that. Bang. Until I'm going to the deputy imam ratib to first for signing. I am the imam, deputy imam ratib of Gunjur up to this moment. Then I get a new imam of the Pana State House. I was once an imam at the State House Mosque. For what? for some time. Uh, in addition to all that, you are also president of the Supreme Islamic Council, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, can you tell us what were the reasons for the establishment of the Supreme Islamic Council? For Isa Abuda. Uh, Islamic Council London, 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 London. What I found in the constitution uh, by what the operation, the, the association or the, the group operates by. That means that after the elders uh, uh, looked around and saw what was happening. Because there were a lot of Muslim associations being established in the country one by one. Uh, yeah, Imam, you mentioned the constitution. Which constitution are you referring to? The constitution of Lakumofo. The constitution of Jumal Lakumofo. Well, the Supreme Islamic Council of Constitution. That's the constitution of the Supreme Islamic Council. And and by that, you mean the document that established the Supreme Islamic Council as an association or as an organization. Or Nico, or a constitution, or what I'm going to call Bukoti, Bukubat, Mayalongo, a Telemu, a Super Islamic Council, a Tele Sabatindi, K Lundi, K Kafot. Yes. Proceed, please. Ten ten. So, in Nata Korosiko, Mojama, the graduate come from Ankabo Bankol to Minumankilia. They also discovered that a lot of people are coming back to the Gambia who were out of the country. Doing different, uh, studying different, different, studying at different institutions who were coming back into the country at that time. Yeah. People were graduating countries. from different countries and returning to the Gambia. I think that's what the Imam tried to say, correct? 
Amreko wato uta wato la eh, mole be karamu bankang be banku 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 alto me alonko e monkey kilinti e be bankang e buburunka na Gambia banko kanjang e olafu. Ha. Yes. And which countries are you referring to? Nimu nam banku nimu niko in banku alto ba olam jumaldi banku jumaldi kila karamu banda mendo. E mo alto ke constitution alto. No name of any country was in the constitution. But are you aware, as a matter of fact, uh, countries from which Gambians were graduating uh, at that at that time? By say, it is a long road. For an artist, it is a long road. Gambians will be known. They are carrying on for Bangor and Mendoza. For it is a long road. Actually, the idea will be Kamadal Maolo. Actually, I don't know uh, what that was or what that means. Uh, at that time, in which countries or from which countries were Gambians graduating from? What all? In Islamic studies, of course. Gambia Dingol, Ikela Karonum Kumfanum, Banku Jumalero, Dino, Islam, Islam or Karola. Banku Dantambe Olukono. There were a few countries <coughs> Sudan, Sudan, Egypt, Egypt, Saudi, Saudi, Libya, Libya. Uh, these are some of the few countries <coughs> where Gambians went and graduated. How about Morocco? Morocco is Banco do. Morocco man start June. Morocco didn't start early. In Kakilo man graduate marrying all ma men graduate takabot. I am unable to remember any of the uh, people who graduated from Morocco in the earlier days. Uh, yes, so Gambians were graduating from different countries and returning to Gambia. Amunda Gambiano be a Karan Kumvagan Banku, Jamal Domanko, a monkeyling, the Nipareta, a Muruna Gambia Banko Kanja. What about this particular fact necessitated the establishment of the Supreme Islamic Council? Sila Munenata Nasabu Fong, Menata Nasabu, Supreme Islamic Council, Jarata Purka Londi. Yalundi ku jama kama walu kono poruka umbrella soto mimi mchele me ado kuo be kapula nyol. Well, uh, the reason for that was to have an umbrella body which will cover all other Islamic associations in the country. These different countries from which Gambians were graduating in Islamic studies. Did they share one common or universal ideology about Islam? Yum Banku Molango Banku Siman Kilimol Lemiano Gambian or Kela Karamal Kumfaje, a Murunanjan. It a Londo, four Yum Bankol, ye be a mira killing the sort of Bandino la Carola, four ye la Bidimiro Fatal Bandino la Carola. Actually, Manta Daming, Nte Walla Miro London or Ponga Longo. Well, actually, the countries that I didn't visit, I cannot uh, point or I cannot say this is the way they were thinking or this is the way they were carrying out their Islamic uh, uh, or their religious uh, activities or uh, this is how they were uh, uh, worshipping. Uh, because I didn't visit their country, so I cannot say anything about that. Um, what I am trying to drive at is whether it was realized that these graduates coming from different countries had different perceptions or ideologies of Islam. Left a comment, you may send a major well and mean to go for Ningambia Dingol may along go a killer, Karan Kumfar and Banco, Siman Kilimol, and the new Karan by an Anna Murun and Gambia Bongo Ganja. For Nini Murundana Yela Karan Bong, for Ila Mirul, Anila Dino Tamandirinya, for Eka Kilinabang. Left a call along Yalom Manyana Olon, a near to run successful than a door quarter because he left a little umbrella body low, baby Mirala. Mira killing all a mink cotton. This new water are not true. More money, Mira cotton, not over drop. We shouldn't be able to know that there are different ways of going about 
uh, uh, their religious ways. What our intention was to be a body whereby anyone who returns home being a graduate, we will all have the same thinking, the same perception of Islam, and we will all follow the same route so that it will be oneness amongst us. Uh, I have your statement here. And I would read out one sentence to you. And tell us whether it represents uh, what you have in mind. And what, and what you told the investigators. It is as follows. The graduates who returned from these countries all wanted to implement the Islamic ideologies of these different countries in the Gambia. Does that represent your view? That's the main reason for establishing this association. So that nobody will come with any ideology which will be uh, only which will be practiced by that person or which they will like to establish in this country different from the main string that we have. That's why if you go back a little bit, if you look at it properly, you will see that there are many schools in the country. The syllabus that those schools have, uh, if there is any similarity with the areas that they have done or the schools that they were attending, there will be, that difference will be there. But we want to bring back everything together. But in Tolonga Peru, Gambia, La Pansung, Syllabus, Dada, Me Alonko, Karambungo, Lubeka, Tamaniwal. This is why we tried and we established our own syllabus, whereby every school in the Gambia will be running on those lines. Uh, and in your statement, you went on to say, and we uh, Since the number of returning graduates were on the increase, and the idea of having an umbrella body, that will bring the different ideologies together. So that we can live in harmony. Does that represent your view? Well, it's not like that. Uh, there is something existing which we want to uh, cure. But what we wanted was to bring, out, to bring down everything into one main string whereby anybody who comes with a different ideology, we will bring them all under one umbrella. Proceed, please. And then? And what else? What were the reasons? What were the other reasons? Fair. So that we will try our level best to establish unity among Muslims of the country. Uh, with that objective, uh, how was the council established and in which year? Uh,
nyadi alora nyadi le lo nyal minu kata nyala ba on tol mo ti regime saban jangla we are the third regime but the ones i attended how they were formed or established gambia la regional regional be membe gambia all the regions in the gambia ibe ka mo tang anin lol le ki kana super sami council each region sends 15 people to the uh, council nimbe concrete ka la pro ka ka fo la member sol tombo if we are organizing a congress to select people for the uh, association nga pala sol tandi la ta mo le tombo na dam minuto we showed them positions where by this are the positions where we want to have people to fill those positions omo palas tang anin kelenati those positions amount to 11 nsa foko follow follow be na president otombona we will start by saying we are about to choose or select a president jamale interest to poruka ke supreme council president who and who are interested to become the president of the supreme islamic council wala jamale lafta mo kote mo e ka ti ja akoye batu akoye batu aha no proceed please 10 ten yo 10 ten wala jamale lafta jamale mo je te lafta mi e ka ti oh who have seen somebody else who wants to become the president of the supreme islamic council ninga olbe to soto pa pareta after getting all those names moli eminu tandi ko foy la petale isa woli nyinin ka yete chodi pour ka ke councilor la president foy la petaba well we will start by those who were selected by other people we will start by those people and ask them well so and so you were selected Uh, is it true that you are interested in becoming the president of the Supreme Islamic Council? Niko ha iseto la pa bolu kan e be karate fa la menu. If you say yes, your name will be added to those who we are going to be voted in for. Niko ha ni yete to bolu. If you say no, they will just remove your name. Wala nanga konkre min ke Mansa Konko. This is why the congress that we held at Mansa Konko model control of the sorba wala ke president some people said they wanted soriba to become the president dol control of the banding drama e kati some said that we want banding drama to become the president dol ko la feta bajana e kati wala ke balandin sanya wala imam tour some said they want bajan to become the president or ke balandin sanya to become the president or imam tour so kabriye wolu nyinin ka so when all of those people were questioned nda ngay tandila gon tema interest i showed them that i am not interested so ente to bondi so my name was removed so mol min no ye interest so je those people who were interested to become president enata kayti koy on nati blank paper to te mimbala they brought in a blank paper which had no name minu nyanta vote la yayo kayto tala wol betem so that paper was uh, divided among those who wanted to vote so e koy tela fita mi ye ke president di se o to sa vete la kayto bal so after distributing those papers they told them that the person that you want to become the president of the supreme islamic council write that person's name on that blank paper barika ne pango to ke but don't don't write your own name there so kabri mo be tal sape so after all those papers were written ye kol ye tombong ye kapunyola they were collected the data county and they were counted min na kaito siata the person with most of the votes wala ka wala ka da president the guy who got the majority of the votes became the president of the supreme islamic council what it dol bije sometimes nin karte fa siata if it is voting e control ndela fata imam touré ke president if somebody says i want imam touré to become the president ni mo man soto mi fanan ko bidda pour ka carte fa ya fe 
If there is no other person who is computing Imam Sisi, Imam Ture, unanimously, then unanimously Imam Ture will become the president. So Imam, the first Congress in Mansa Konko in 1992 is when the Supreme Islamic Council was formed, correct? I want to the Congress follow me sort of Mansa Konko, 1992 Sankono. What's the Supreme Islamic Council? Mansa Konko in 1999. The Congress at Mansa Konko was in 1999. Follow me in 1992. The first Congress took place in 1992. Maybe Independence Stadium or, or, or Friendship Hotel, something like at that. At the Friendship Hotel, maybe at the Independence Stadium. Uh, uh, thank you, Imam, for that clarification. Uh, at this stage, what were the functions of the Supreme Islamic Council? Silang, in Tembenna, Supreme Islamic Council, Iladoko, Munati. Nadoko. Our job. Our job was just to mend things, to, to, to make things look better, and to do things that will make things everything good in Islam. If there is a dispute anywhere or a disagreement which has become serious, we will get up and go there and talk to them to make sure that that dispute or disagreement comes to an end and we will bring them together. Well, sometimes those appeals come from imams, sometimes from alkalos, sometimes from the chiefs, sometimes from the governors. Sometimes even the government, the central government itself, will want us to join them to go to a particular place to so, try and bring the people together. So why are That was the reason how we were able to end a lot of disputes that happened or that took place in the country. Uh, would you say Imam, or what type of organization would you, would you call it? Would Organization I Would you say that it's a charitable organization? For example, for the Kafuani, we have the mayor along with charitable organization. We have the mayor of the family doing the national doing the job. We have the Supreme Islamic Council. That's the Supreme Islamic Council. He's asking whether is that the, the you mean the Supreme Islamic yes. Council? Yes. Is Akoha. the Supreme Isla, Would you say that the Supreme Islamic Council is a charitable organization? Supreme Islamic Council, from a charitable organization, only one from Molla Kila Nafulu Dundi Banka, Nima, Purata, Lokurita, Nin Tata Ning Kenya, like a Kafol Tola Mina Dunia Kono. If we take the normal way of naming associations in this world, yes, we can say that, well, it is that type of. Uh, organization. But the Supreme Islamic Council are in Kapol Patata demanding. But Supreme Islamic Council is different from most of those types of organizations. Because I take it a body let me along command Sakunda le Sulatan. Because it's a body which the central government needs. That's why Kabiria Belola. When it was being established, Na Kalamta ko ni Yaya Sise na lole. Directly. I became aware that uh, uh, they themselves and the Yaya Sisi were involved in the establishment of the association. Because it was, he was selected by Jawara, the then president, so that he can join us uh, so that we can establish this organization. And at that time, we used to meet at the Atlantic Hotel. NJIBP also played an important role in the establishment of the organization. So, Abanke ko charity ka polimini be banta mo kalo purise fenyini nala. No, it is not like charitable organizations who can be, which can be formed so that they will be looking for uh, 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 assistance from outside. 
Uh, Imam, it's been suggested uh, that before its establishment, a number of institutions or schools or madrasas or majlis used to go abroad to raise funds for Islamic education in the Gambia. Uh, Janin Supreme Islamic Council Kafu Abelola, a Mokum Kilinal Tartan Sortal, many along with Kafindi Bantala and Ikata Banta, Ikata de Bansuro Nini, a Banta like a Devansuro Nini Nankana, Gambia Bango Ganja Ikato, Ika 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 Karabungi Doku, Karamu Dingil Alto, Ika Olel to use Kemunafang Defansol and Kana, Kanati Gambia Bango Ganja, Janin Supreme Islamic Council Kafu Abelola. And, and it was deemed necessary to have an organization through which all these activities, fundraising activities uh, or charitable activities could be coordinated. And in other words, it was a great deal. Pour que le café soit le même que le Supreme Islamic Council, le café soit le même que 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 le café soit le you see, any organization in this world aims objectives. They all have aims and objectives. And that's always written in the uh, uh, principles or the uh, constitution of that organization. If you want to bring in something else which is not part of that book, I don't think that we'll be able to fit in there. Because that was not the reason for the, organ for the establishment. If that's the reason also you want to follow, then that reason has not been established in the uh, rules of the organization. Uh, thank you very much for that clarification. Uh, you said the government wanted the organization to be established. Would you say that the Supreme Islamic Council is a private organization or, or is it a governmental organization? For Supreme Islamic Council. Perhaps I should rephrase the question. Is it a non-governmental organization or is it a governmental organization? It is not part of the government. It is a non-governmental organization. And you mentioned earlier that in every organization, its aims and objectives are written in the laws of the organization. You recall that? Uh, uh, I said, in ev he said a little while ago mm -hmm. that in every organization, the aims and objectives of the organizations are written in the constitution of that organization. And everything that the organization does should be within the framework of what is contained in that constitution. <coughs> Yes, that's true. Uh, the Supreme Islamic Council, when it was established, did it have any governmental powers or any powers to enforce any orders? For Supreme Islamic Council, Billing Ya Law. For I found now sort of a mayor on Kumazakunda, Karasura Jela Bankela, Kul, Makela, Sembota, Kale, Kambang, well, Mem Super Islamic Council, Tibankale, Kankabola, Mazakunda, Karola Bank. Honey, what is it? No. 
Are you done with the interpretation? He said, no, what is it? No, he said that's, that's not part not of it. it. Yeah, so you just said no? Mm -hmm. He said no, that's not it. Yes, that, that's, no, the bit. that's the bit I was waiting to hear. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you very much. Right. That, no, that was not part of it. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you very much, sir. Uh, in fact, in your statement, you said that the council does not have power to force its decision on anyone. Is that correct? And who can be? Yeah, for Janko, it's a statement of the memo. Yeah, come on, Mendy, Saferoro. Iko, Council on Ying, Memo Supreme Islamic Council, Man Sembesoro, Kala Mokang, Puruka, Kakula Mokang. Oh, Sembotan. No, we don't have that power. In fact, under the laws of the Supreme Islamic Council, do you have the power to censor anybody, to ban anybody from preaching? Do you have that power according to your constitution? No, I don't have the power to censor anybody, to ban anybody from preaching. Do you have that power according to your constitution? No, I don't have the power to censor anybody, to ban anybody from preaching. Do you have that power according to your constitution? No, I don't have the power to censor anybody, to ban anybody from preaching. Do you have the power as the Supreme Islamic Council to declare anybody non-Muslim? For Ale Sembo Fanan Sorolabang, Supreme Islamic Council, Kamo Kankula, Kai Chodi, Kavoko Yiteman Ke Misilimoti. Fale O Sembo Sorolabang? Ma Mera O Mu Sembo De Kari Man Ke Misilimoti Intela Jeroto. I don't think there's a power of its own to, look, to point somebody and say this person is not a Muslim. I don't think that is a power. That's what you've seen, seeing, or what you understand about that person. Uh, we just want to understand the extent of the powers uh, or the aims and objectives of the Supreme Islamic Council as at that time. Laftal ka London Supreme Islamic Council ya London da London kamu anila hamenda menti o watola anila sembo menti nu o watola. Was it part of its functions to declare individuals or organisations as being non-Muslim? For Abela do ko kono la bang kamo kangula waranto ka kafule mbamfo mo kunkili na la mbang kavu ko imanke misili moti fa abela sembo kono la waranto fa abela do ko kono la bang nse o pono le well we can utter those types of statements we can say things like that would I be wrong to say that one of the principal aims of the Supreme Islamic Council was to help foster peace and unity, social cohesion within the country. For mbetili na la banka fuka nyimfoko Supreme Islamic Council la lonta ngao mendi abe okono wole mindi ko ka maka mama fana la mendi alongo abe kila banko dingo la karola de purke suri nyola kubendango ningjuluboro kake kilinti kaka iro sabati dimo la maltema for amanke wole malo wole kamaba. Very well. That's why it was established. Um, thank you very much. Uh, and you would also agree with me that it was not the role of the Supreme Islamic Council to force anyone to accept to fast or pray at a particular day. Anungi besan nama ni nala fana mko Supreme Islamic Council. Amantri la sembo kono waranda amantri la doko kono purka mo force waranda kaka fu force kafu eko albesan la bile waranda albes albesun na bile waranda sama. Sembo mantra Supreme Islamic Council kafu force. Supreme. Enyanda sal la bile. 
Supreme Islamic Council doesn't have the powers to force people to say that you are going to pray today. But if the council deems it fit and they've seen a clear reason that people should pray on a particular day, they have the right to, to voice out that statement. But if force No, but there is no force or power with us to force people to do things. And the relationship between the Supreme Islamic Council and the government. Uh, uh, is there any national law which established the Supreme Islamic Council? It's an, ob there's an obvious, the, the answer to this is obvious, but I just ask this question so that it would, it, this, its status would be very, very clear to everybody. <coughs> is there any national law which established the Supreme Islamic Council, or gave it statutory recognition. Four. Mansa kunda ni Supreme Islamic Council la kafunyo yaro wanando la badi yaro. Fu banko luale bejamba me yaro ngo ai sembodi ai Supreme Islamic Council ai suite bang ka sembodi la banko la luaro. Supreme Islamic Council. The Supreme Islamic Council it has a lot of work to do. It, the, the, the job they are wide. supposed to do is very wide. This is why the government needs it and individuals also need it. Likewise, everybody in the country. But the law is power. We don't have that power. It is the government that has that power. Um, uh, thank you very much. Uh, there seems to be this misconception that the Supreme Islamic Council was established by an act of parliament. And you have just cleared the fact that it is an NGO. It was established under the Societies Act, and it has it is not established by an act of parliament. Better at a yas and the young coast. Prince Lamy Council Manga Kafu the Mayor on Kona, Deputy Bumba, Ola Luani, Londi, Ola Luani Savaka, Londi, Kafu the Mayor on Kodron, Molder Kafu and Yoban, Gudimulia, Yakafoni, Londi, Lual, Lual Fanantai, Save Londi. Is that correct, sir? Mutonia, yes. Exactly, yes. Uh, thank you very much. In, uh, the relationship between the Supreme Islamic Council and former President Jame, can you tell us a bit about it? Uh, Supreme Islamic Council, and uh, President Ben Benunjan, Yaya Jame, Ilabadia Benunjan, and Fosija Fonjaba, Abenunjan. Supreme Islamic Council. Supreme Islamic Council. Alabadia and in Gambia, La Mansakunda. Its connection, with, its connection with the Gambia government. Jawara Yahya Jame Baro. Jawara Yahya Jame and Baro. Isula ta pewa penda ni tulusa mira kon tulusa wo kenole. Whatever they need, and they think that we can do it as a body. Yembulala. And they tell us to do it. Well, that will be part of our job. And we should do it. Niatara ning. If it is on the same lines with the Islamic law, and if it is useful to the nation and to the citizens. So that's the same type of connection we had with Jawara, the same connection we had with Yaya Jamme, and that's the same connection is existing between us and Baro. Uh, one thing I have noticed from what you have said is okay. that whatever you are told to do should be in line with the law, correct? correct? <laughs> very tight in its own. It should be something that Allah will uh, accept. Uh, accept. Yeah.
That's how we walk. Would you say that the act that you are asked to do should also be lawful for under the laws of this country? The law is to do something, let it be good and truthful. That's the Sharia, that's what Muslims should do. So, Muslims should do something. So to be a Muslim, or the norms of Islam and the law are almost the same. Lua, lua, tilindim. A law that is straightforward. Um, thank you, Ya Imam. Barakabak, Ya Imam. Forcing Gambians to pray on a particular day, you said, was not part of the powers of the Supreme Islamic Council, correct? Ka force ola Gambian ol kang ka lung tombon ka foy albesal lañu lung lung karile la. Iko amantra Supreme Islamic Council la do go kono to nya. Mhm. Force ka sale. Yes. What na do go kono. To force people to pray is not part of our function. As an imam and also as president of the Supreme Islamic Council, would you say that it is lawful in Islam to force anybody to pray or fast at a particular day? I am the president of the Supreme Islamic Council. For, if you are in the law, Force all them dino la carola, purka mo force a carfo, ever soon name in carle, or under the sun lining lun carle. For force all them dino la carola. Dino pong, mom for a sort of. The religion itself doesn't have anything forceful. Because a Alabato munga neolet. Because worshipping Allah, somebody can be standing on a prayer mat. You bending to, down, standing up, but that person, if you look at it properly, is not praying. Worshipping comes from the heart, and nobody reaches that heart except Allah Himself. So what I'm saying for us is action or general mean because you mean for a bewala, but me muku sahari wa dola ba manda wala. So if you force somebody. He can just do the actions, and you will see him doing those actions whilst in his heart or in her heart, the performance is not there. So, so it is the heart that will agree uh, uh, for somebody to worship properly. I, I cannot agree more with you on that important point. Mm -hmm. uh, but the question I am driving at is, would it be lawful to say everybody in this country must fast or pray at a particular day? You can remember in the world of Nindiko, for, for, Dino La Carol, 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 well, that power doesn't lie with the government itself, so they cannot force people to do that. And Allah has not given that power to us. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, may I ask that a video be played, please? A video of Yaya Jami about the Eid? Let me make it very clear. Here in this country, we live judgment of the Almighty. Allah. Finally.
I will also not allow people to divide Islam in the Gambia. Because also it is in the Quran. That we should not allow anybody to divide Islam. Or Muslims. Those who say they are waiting for, let me say that in Wolof. Ako <laughs> Local government. Local government. 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 Quand <laughs> 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 Was that lawful? Mm -hmm. Was that what we just heard from Yaya Jami? Mm -hmm. uh, Imam, sorry, we were asked to hold on. There's a technical problem being sorted out. Thank you, Ya Imam. Imam. What we have just heard na from Yaya Jame, ya ya Jame we heard him say that everybody must pray a particular day. Na ko, mo lunela. Was that lawful? Wadum, bang, ani bang. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Ala tendu. We thank God. Because Yahya say mandate din o nung Supreme Sami Council ala nindi amoto jam. Iko iko say ya kamba. Unko say ya maro din o Supreme Islamic Council la. Yahya could give nindi amoto jam. He could give instructions to the Supreme Islamic Council by the statement he made here. But in tolong ala tento. But we thank God. Ate. Yamaro the local government minister. That he gave the instructions to the local government minister. We had no business with it. Uh, Imam, I underline that fact also. Imam, But the question I am asking you. What Yaya Jame pronounced. Yaya Jame men kankula jang. Was that lawful? Wodum lua ani lua tatale bang. Min tambita. What passed ni yaya tema ni particular issue between me and yaya jame on this particular issue? Ni yewo kalamtano. If you were aware of it, tendo ite ite na tatale jam. You wouldn't have brought this issue here. Ngafen jama le kachaja. We discussed many issues here. I gave him many examples too. la society jang. Our society here. No one forces another. To pray. Which is why I told him that. You get up from your home. 
and go to the mosque to pray. Yet and be the mulalla. You pass people playing draft. Yet and be lodo la la maraha sila la hataya minna la. You pass others playing lodo, others brewing attire. Yet I sali. You go on to pray. Yet and amurum. And return back. Yet to nyam iket rawole jam. Just as you left them, you will find them the same. Never, never, never. Mone nama nyapi mo ganka pa ebeda ne man ta sal pa. And never has anyone attacked another on the basis of not praying. Wo kamala. For that reason, I told him that we have news to give people or information but whether they adhere to it or not that is not our responsibility. If we had developed an understanding on that issue then this thing that he has just said he wouldn't have said so. Okay. Thank you very much Imam. Lumbarabake Imam. And it is good to know that there are people who protested. Abetata Purmolia long, Komolu Sutron Talinum, many along Koyela, Balanda Itandiala. But what we want to first underline here, but in Lafta Memfulo Senandilaka Bambandijang, is that that statement he uttered that everybody must pray a particular day. Ko Ayok Makamu Memfo, Komobe Nyanta Sala Lunella. Let's call it by its name. Was it lawful or was it unlawful? So Malong Aka Nininka Jamala Kumola Nala Baro. I don't know whose statement and actions you are asking me about. Yaya James or my own work? Uh, we are not talking about your own words. We are talking about the words that were uttered by Yaya Jame, the then President of the Republic. Yaya Jame, you are talking about the words that were uttered by Yaya Jame. Those words, were they lawful or were they unlawful? Yaya Jame, you are talking about the words that were uttered by Yaya Jame, the then President of because It is not in line with the Sharia because the Sharia does not force anyone. Uh, I can also tell, tell you that it is not in line with the laws of this country as contained in the Constitution and the laws of the Gambia. Watu aningi mbanko la lua lu manta nyola kabel na bukuba kono nyaming ikafu me ya constitutiono anung aningi mbanko la lua lu fana na manta no nyola. Which means that it is unlawful in Syria and it is unlawful under the laws of the Gambia. Wole mnyenti ko wai ri Syria ngo mansonga la Gambia fana na lua lu abe safari nyaming i mansonga la. Syria ngo mansonga la puru ke forose dia kuya iba kela tena. The Sharia does not force you to do things forcefully in a particular way. What ought to be done is what the Sharia advocates. That which ought to be done. When the crescent is cited in the Islamic world, all Muslims are expected to fast. That is the, uh, the way Sharia puts it. But if someone fails to do and you attack the individual and for not doing so, that power is not given to people. Thank you, Ya Imam. Ya, ya Imam. Ya, ya Jami went further to say ya, ya Jami continued to say that Imams ko that that would go against his edict, his statement, his order would be arrested and would be removed from their imamship. Did you hear that part? Very well. Was that lawful? If he had meant that, then he would have arrested many imams. There were many imams that did not pray. That is why I thought that was just 
a mere statement, but he did not actually mean it. Uh, but for now, let's not get to that part yet, whether he meant it or not. But for certain things, man, foot out of flow for I a bakuna le kapare kake bang for dum aman pare akela. But let's examine whether that statement was lawful. The menji be kanja. Was it lawful? The menji be kanja. Ngole ala o kumaka mo for dum o fanga ni lua tata nyola le. I said I do not know upon what he based his statement. But under this Sharia, in which you are very knowledgeable, would that statement be lawful? Bari sharia ngola karo la kato ite fomo sharia ngola lona leti ai ni mmfuteng fodum kutilindi ngolo meni luata. Nemo mi ma salimbe sorona wo sembo wo sembo sharia ngoma odi mor. To lock up anyone that does not pray is power that the Sharia has not given to anyone. How about if you prayed on another date, I would arrest you and detain you and remove you from your imamship? Would that be lawful? And I remember now, Foko, moment the insult of Lundola, men are telling you what to do. Be mutalale, ne sorong, and we be bondila almami alale. For dum wo kumaka wo fanang ni luata tale ba. Yalong Tonya Lumulua Muna Bangola Tarambulo Leti. But you know, it is true, the law is what we run our country by. At the Tata Lua de Tata Bakel. But the law is tight, very tight. Because Nini Ninka Poni Lua Tata Pana Banda. But because if you ask me if that was lawful or unlawful, I would not be able to answer. Because I do not know upon which Yaya based his instructions on. Sariango mang sembo di mola ke porose yesale wala lungkari. Tendo ninja mungo molo jangjanda salola. Momo be marse kono mbite be no kane ninga na. The Sharia does not give the powers to force anyone to pray. That is why if that power was in existence, then after prayers we would all go to the market and arrest all those that are in the market. Anyone that does not go for prayers will go for them and arrest them all. But Sondomole ka ala batu adung ala duronde ka jeje. So, but it is the heart that worships God and only God that sees what is in the heart. Would you say that the attempt Yaya Jami was making to force the whole country? to pray at a particular day would have amounted to a violation of the rights of the Muslims. I don't think I can answer that. Well, because the question is very wide. Katumo kamimfo asa keno aninga kamimfo because I tell you apo. Because what someone says because he can do or what he says because he said so. Because ni mo kani mo mo man salimbe ya mara mo se ono imbangoka. If you say that anyone that does not uh, pray, you'll be arrested. Do you think anyone can do that in this country? So, so that is just a mere statement. Uh, let me refer change the question. Let but, me rephrase it. But mm -hmm. Those who prayed on that day, because they were afraid that if they didn't, because they were afraid that if they didn't, they would be arrested. Would you say that their rights were violated? That happened. It's a question I'm throwing back at you. Were there people that prayed because they were scared? 
I, I normally would not answer questions, but on this particular occasion, I would. I would say yes. Ako jamaa jamaa nte boka jabi roke nte kanyi ninkaro leka bari fana nanyi nyi ninkaro kanyi ndong mba fana lela ha mulu suru nte lemenu silata isalta. Would that have been a violation of their rights? For dum between saying why we silata le isalta for what lanyi nto tinya tala ba? Yalon yalon nyanto tinya ta ni tata ni mseleme yala karola wolo muta noti. Well, you know, if you are talking about a violation of the rights, if that is from the Islamic side of uh, things, then that is the problem. All the others that did not pray, what was the reason for, for them not praying? Well, it be a situation or answer whether it is based on that uh, that uh, one can say whether or not their rights were violated. For how long, You must know the reason for which they did not pray. So, yeah. If he did not pray in his right, then their rights might have been violated. But if we deliberately uh, refuse to pray and uh, disobey God, so as far as it is alone, I will do it answer alone. Then, if you do not know which of these two, then you cannot possibly answer that question. Uh, from what you said, let me for thank Imam. I take it that there is some element of violation of religious rights of people. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I'm asking you. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving a continuation. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm a bit lost. I come off a hammer. I'm not a filter. I'm coming car tent and the prior continent. I'm on Kumo bounce out of the I'm just encouraging you to continue. Your statement was not yet completed. Uh, thank you. Actually, I had completed. Uh, my statement was. Uh, uh, by some people praying on the day that he dictated as a result of fear for those people their rights were violated your rights would be violated if at all, truly, even God knows that you were not supposed to pray. But if it were that in fact you were supposed to pray, then if that is the case, the one who made you afraid that you prayed is actually helping you. So as far as so that is why, since we cannot tell which is of the two, we cannot say directly that people's rights were violated. Yeah. But clearly, you cannot rule out that people's rights were violated. But it was not Tonya. It is not from by no lack of focus. Molu sotonta ye menu la nyanto lutinya sila nyakam. Nsa phone ola duro maybe. All we can say is maybe. Kujemo kulola te dal dami ala alonga te sone. But that is a secret which uh, to unravel it is not going to be easy. But what is clear? Is that there is no law in Gambia which empowered Yaya Jame to make the pronouncement that he made. Because the people are not Gambia the Sharia does not empower anyone to force another person to pray. Uh, now let's go to the situation of uh, Sheikh 
Haidara. Nata Sheikh Haidara la Kulu Kansai. Muhyiddin. Sheikh Muhyiddin Haidara. You know that he was arrested allegedly. Nalo ibota kala maleko ya mutale num for not praying. Ko amansali luna. On the date he had jammed, directed that everybody should pray. Lungme ya ya jammed lungme nton bongo mo be nyanta sal lungme na te mansali wulungola. Are you aware of that case? Ako for ibota wakala malebang. Yes. I have a newspaper here. Kibar kaito film timbulo kono jang. It's a Foraya newspaper. Foraya la kibar kaito film. Of 4th August 2014. August karo til nani 2014 sango kono. Exhibit 110. Na sene kaito kono awalem exhibit keme anin tanjango. And it says. I remember kaito bala. That Sheikh Muhyiddin Haidara. Or Sheikh Muhyiddin Haidara. The Caliph General. Caliph General. And Alkalo Buyeture of Sangajor Dasilame. And in Alkalo Buyeture, men of Sangajor Dasilame. They were arrested by police. Police oliye muta. For observing the Eid prayers on Tuesday, 29th July 2014. Kwe salo ke July karotil mwa ning kononto 2014 sa wakono. And they were taken to the police where they spent three nights and we are some police yes who to sabak a police all below to follow what do you say about that i don't know statement i mean dino before the statement that i give before nga ko indi jela ko ni muhi din muto anin salo salibalia relation soto I made it clear that if there was any connection between the arrest of Sheikh Muhyiddin Hydra and the refusal to pray, then if that were the case, all other people that did not agree to pray on that day would have been arrested. Because he was not the only one that did not pray. So why Muhyiddin or Lolo Maulma? And why Muhyiddin and the others were not touched? So all on the Dalilo member auto Allah Dorone Allah. That is why the reason behind it only God knows. Would you say that if Muhyiddin was arrested and prosecuted for not praying on the 29th? Ako walem nyinti ko ya Muhyiddin muda nyina kam ko. Aman sali karo tili muan ning konontro. Nala mutu waketa wadali lole kandi. Would you say that that arrest and detention was unlawful? Fodo iba afula leko woto ala wo muto ani la sorongo. Ani luwa mantanyo. Nse pe ope mpono doon wola mwende koya wole fo koya muta wole kam. If there is anything that I can say it will be that that was the reason advanced for his arrest. But I accept that if that were the reason, then he would have been arrested with the others that did not pray. Therefore, Mohidin was not arrested for refusing to pray. There are many other issues involved. Okay, but I understand the position you are advancing. But what I want you to answer is what is stated by the government. They said they have arrested him for disobeying Yaya Jame's order by not praying on the 29th of April of July 2014 in view, in view of what the government has said do you think that arrest was lawful or unlawful I don't think we can arrive at that answer if we are not sure that that was the reason for his arrest in the first place. But Imam, but Imam, 
the government said that is the reason. Man sakunda ko wala muita ila dalilo ti teliole fu. And when they took him to court, adumbri ya samba kitu la fana. They charged him for disobeying the lawful order of the president. Yeah, two minutes ago, I banko la president la kamole soso. So we cannot now question whether there were other reasons for his arrest or not. What on the law no la janka for for the little dole le bala muto koma. It elia memfo mbe ole jela. But even. But Are, even if there were other reasons, the question I ask you is the reasons that the government has given. Are those reasons lawful for the arrest of the Imam? Because the arrest you know all the people that were arrested from different places i will waste it on the reason that will give me my right that is what i do but whether but whether that is uh, real or otherwise, there were many question marks on the, many of those. The arrest of Muhyiddin for the refusal of praying, that prayer time, he was not the only one that did not pray in that particular prayer time. If it was based on refusing to pray, why? that was uh, that led to his arrest. Why? 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 Why did they not also arrest the others that did not also pray? So there is a wide difference in this matter. Uh, yeah, Imam, with all due respect. Yeah, uh, Imam, bunya bebije. You are still not answering the question. Uh, we can go round and round and round. But the elephant is there for you to see. Was it lawful to arrest the Imam for not praying on the day Yaya Jame ordered? Or was it not? Yaya jamme lumu men fo ko moli sali italia fo ko ye alimamo muta wole kang wodun ni luwa tatale bang fana manta afa he ka to defa na nga nyene ka fo ya muta sali balia la tonya ke ba can you pardon me let me also pose this question back to you are you certain that he was arrested based on the refusal to pray uh, yeah, Imam, that is what the government stated ya imam man sakunda ye wole fo fa fo ya senayandi because if that was the, the reason uh, for, for his arrest, I would say that is not a genuine reason. Because if the reason were genuine, then he would have been arrested alongside the others that did not pray along with him. Uh, yeah, Imam. Yeah, I'm, Imam. I'm not asking you whether the reason given by the government was genuine or not genuine mandare nyinin ka ka nyinna ko man sakunda e dalilo mem fo fa tembeta wala fa man tilin me nyinin ka wala what i am asking you me nyinin ka ka men did did government have the power to arrest him for praying on a day that is different from the the one prescribed by ya jame man sakunda e mem fo ko ya muta lunnela it is clear to me it is clear to me 100% that he was not arrested for merely refusing to pray on the designated day uh, yes imam you know that but 100% the but the commission does not Akoya Imam ite olona akoyete mawairi ko 100%. But commission mo mawairi. Yalo yalo nkalta jan. You know I I saw here. Yes. Tenga lo 100% de ko Imam do. I know 100% that he was not arrested for that reason. Uh, okay. 
you know that you are imam but the government did not say that but man sakunda ma wofo the government said man sakunda ko they arrested him ya muta nyina kama for observing eid prayers on 29 july ay salo ke july karoti li muang anin kolon tole ko ya muta wole kama and that is what he was charged with in court adun biri ya sabba kito la fanan ya tumi wole la that charge forget about the reasons for the arrest that charge was that lawful according to Saria or unlawful important you know what i know is more important than what the government said so if the government gave reasons for his arrest and it's clear to me that those were not genuine it's not existing i will not swear then turn around and uh, say something that is not existing okay uh, yeah imam let me read out this is foroya i have read it out you know foroya tinga okaran ni mem for okay i would now look at uh, cairo news it's an online paper sa en cairo news fanan sina o fanan foye wo mu online kaito leti melu ka kibarol bondi ni computer la and this is what it says wo ni na fo and i beg you to put aside what you know personally ko be dani la ite ye melong wo landi kara la ni la kuma kango let us just focus on what the government said and we talk about the legality of what the government said and we put aside for the time being what the government may have thought or did but which is secret man sakunda yake ifansun dalilo menu kama menu mukuloti ngawulu betuje bari itel nata mem fo jamaa moli ko nyine mu daliloti be wala jube kan and this is what we have here and wala be mbulu jang the caliph general of the serif caliphate in dasilam sangajor caliph general mem mo caliphoti dasilam sangajor who has been illegally detained since tuesday on Thursday morning ferried to Banjul for a meeting with the members of the Supreme Islamic Council Ram salum somanda ya nati Banjul pour aning Supreme Islamic Council la molie bengoke The council members reportedly told the caliph general Council dingul ye nyum fo caliph general ye ko kumo fintita nyaming that his arrest was initiated by them supreme oh. islamic council it is supreme islamic council le kangodi pour ye sirifo ni muta and not president jame a manka ko president jame le ko ya muta cheikh muhiddin haidara a resident of fonyi in western region fonyi uh, cheikh muhiddin haidara membe sirin fonyi birka matundo kan was told that his arrest ye nyina fayen ko ala muto was in connection abedending menna with his refusal to obey president james edict wala min wala min ti abalanta ka president jamme la kango moy wala ay sarto mem fo that no eid prayers should be held in the western region area on tuesday ko mo mon dim manyan na sala talata lungu birka ma tundo kang wo talato la that is what was reported ye nyina kibaro fintindi was that arrest for not praying on the date of yaya jamis fatwa was that unlawful yaya jamme yo fatwa men di wonya ni nassali bali asri fo la sali bali ya wulungula fo ila muto dum wo mu silatili ni multi bang eh uh, ala tendu bage we thank god mbe dua la comme sono e fadam we pray for the commission also because alay ibam fati haraje platform ola because god uh, chanced imam fati with a platform pour i take janko council of anay janko to clear himself in front of the and the in front of the commission 
because the covering I attended to Muhyiddin la control la ngay muta when he made it known to Muhyiddin that we arrested you dunia be a misunderstand the entire world misunderstood him bara kwaita mo bela ko yara pon wo wo do wo actiono abe Muhyiddin la mako eka it is clear to all that that action was intended to assist Muhyiddin himself because ni ya jamela ya muta police solu te hanyila Muhyiddin bulala because if Yahya Jame was the one that arrested Muhyiddin, the police would not have been uh, brave enough to release him. But if Yahya Jame was the one that arrested Muhyiddin, the police would not have been brave enough to release him. But if he makes it look as if he was being arrested on the behest of the council, then the pressure would be taken off the policemen. For Muhyiddin Kana Walun La Mane Ala Dimbayali. So that they will not do anything that is shameful or bad to him in front of his family. Well, I think I cut a back a poor young camel of Walung Mohidin is a la la corda. That was why he tried all he could do on that day to make sure that Mohidin spent the night in his own house. But Allah kidi da min na mo manko no. But what God destines, nobody can do anything about it. But Mohidin ya lon enteri balum. But Mohidin knows he's a good friend of mine. Daslame alone, and the whole of Daslame knows. Sirpolu be alone, panam. And all the sheriffs know that. Mine ya tina ya Muhyiddin muda. The reason why Muhyiddin was arrested. Among the salo salibali ya among the council of the panam. It was not a refusal to pray. It was not also the council. Still, I will ask my question again. Mbela nyinin karo saying kana kote kaya. And I beg you for the last time to answer the question. Mbe dani la nyinon sinya labang timbe dani la ngay nyinin kamen na lefta yewu le jabi. I understand you have said. Na nyim faham kwe nyim foko. That the reasons advanced by the government for his arrest. Man sakunda e dalilo lume nufo puru ya muta men kamma. Are different from the actual reasons for his arrest. Wo nin dalilo lu fatata le dalilo lume ni alonko wo lebe nunding ya muta dalilo lume nukang. But we all know that government gave a particular reason for his arrest. And when Muhyiddin met with the Supreme Islamic Council, what was discussed was the, was the same reason that was advanced by the government. Isn't that the case? For a long time, we didn't have a No. What happened? I spoke there. I spoke there. Man, film for ming ning wo e badi asut. And I did not say anything that was related to that issue. Ngane ni ku ya le tandi ku la mi along ko wo man ken na ngani oti. We express our displeasure on something that is not our intention and something that we will not, not never accept here. And that was the way things were. Well, the government said this. For right, for my right. Whether that was right or not right. I do not think I can answer that. I cannot answer that. Let long. What I know. That which the government said. That is not genuine. I know that. But, but your yeah, Imam, not only was it well, it may have, it may not have been genuine. But it was patently. Unlawful. But the men quite a day will have been a monkey law la silati. Because Mr. Fall be solar in wo answer la mbulo nte bulo dalilo ming kamma. The reason why Council Fall is demanding that answer from me, mawalo. I do not know. It is for the Commission to have a better understanding. Nyimu, buru komisongo yako lufaha mengeta, mengeta, mengeta ni menata ke, ulubole ni ninka. The extent of the violations, aning molo la nyanto lutiyata nyadi le, of the religious rights of the Gambian people. Gambia dingu lumenu yalongo ila dino la nyanto tiyata. And who was responsible for that violation? Adunjumale yo nyanta tiyalu sabu. 
on this particular issue, uh, the supreme members of the Supreme Islamic Council themselves said they arrested Muhyiddin. But you have explained the reason why that was said. But government also made a pronouncement that, that they arrested him because he disobeyed Jame's order. By answering the question, you help us to understand what is the vile right that is violated under Saria? And who violated that right? That's why I want you to answer the question. That would help the commission in its findings. Because this whole thing that we are talking about here, it's not that we are attacking Islam or that we are attacking members of the Supreme Islamic Council. We want to expose the violation of rights by Yahya Jame and those who enabled him. Lafita, Yahya Jame nyanta tinya lu menu ke laftaw le wanyar la anim menu ya makoy. We have seen, we have heard what he said. Na mwele a emenfo. You told us that he did not have the power. Now somebody had been arrested on the basis of the pronouncement by Yahya kanti. Whether the government told us the truth or they lied, would you say that what the government told us that they did was lawful or unlawful. You know, I showed you that it is clear that we don't have the power to arrest anyone. And I also showed you that Yajamekomorukana said that uh, people should not pray. More Tangya so so be salta. Ten people disobeyed him and they prayed. Atata killing Mudolukona Nanal. He goes and arrests one amongst them and comes with him. You want to make me accept that it was a refusal to pray, that was why this individual, which is why this individual was arrested. Why did he leave out the others? But, but Imam, but Imam, you are asking yourself a different question. I did not ask you that question. What I ask you is, the government said they arrested Muhyiddin for a particular reason. Was that lawful? Answer only that. Because I mean, let them for You know, I cannot answer that one. That which the government say, uh, did the government actually mean that, or was that just an empty statement? Now I mean, if he, if the government meant it, all the people that did not pray would be arrested. Then he is just empty talks. What he said, he but, did not mean it. But Imam, but Imam. If our recollection is right, Imam Fati told us that Imam Muhyiddin was arrested for that reason, for not praying. Nimbe hakilo muruta koma. Imam Fati ya njine fonte lubeye janko. Muhyiddin mutata njindali lule kanko abalanta salale lungula ya jame memfu. And all the papers reported the same thing. Adu njinkibar kaito lubeye kukili mule safi. And the son of Muhyiddin. Adu Muhyiddin dingo. Who testified before the commission uh, said uh, that 
his father was arrested for not praying. For, rather for praying on the day, on the wrong date, prescribed by Ayajame. And this is exactly what it said. My father prayed the day Jame prohibited. And after coming back home, a police vehicle arrived and said they came to arrest the person who led the prayers. When they realized my dad was old, around 80 to 90 years, they found it hard to arrest him. They arrested uh, Alcalo Buyature and took him to Buyam Post. My father was later called to go to Buyam Police, which he did. And he was arrested when he went. So, so, the Supreme, well, Imam Fati said he was arrested for praying on the prohibited date. Imam Fati and Yumfoko assaulted Lungle Lungme Yajamekumo Kanasali. At least that is maybe one reason he was arrested. If, if there are other reasons, at least this is one. Uh, the son was, the son also stated the same thing. All the newspapers said the same thing. Uh, he was charged before court for flouting the order of the president. So even if there are other reasons that may be known to you, all we want you to tell us under Sharia law, was it lawful to arrest the Imam for not playing on the prohibited date? For, for praying on the prohibited date. Sharia law for the Karola. For ninyanta lepurka alimamu ni muta kafu asalita lunne la lume ng president kumo kana sali. I thought we had gone beyond that. I told you that. Sharia ngo mang sembo di mola kamo force kasali. A man somebody more like a more arrest because a man sali. That the Sharia does not give powers to anybody to force anyone to pray on any particular day or to arrest a person. Uh, thank you very much. Um, so we take it Muhyiddin's rights were violated. I do not know that. Well, we know that, sir, from your answer. <laughs> uh, 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 and the commission is here to make its findings. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Um, now, it's, it's a quarter past one, Mr. Chair. Maybe we will take, uh, perhaps maybe we just continue until... Uh, 1.30. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So the other issue I, I want to bring still on the violation of rights of, of Gambians uh, is the issue of the Ahmadiyya. Uh, I know that this is a difficult topic, but we look at it only from the lens of the laws of the Gambia. And again, I have to explain this. This is not a challenge to Islam. Uh, it is not questioning Islam. It is not an inquiry as to 
what religion is right and what religion is not right allo manke nyin tikafo dina jumale muto nyati anin dina jumale manke to nyati it's a question of looking at the laws of the gambia memmu ko kum mati je wolem ka gambia la loi lu jube and to check whether the actions taken by individuals and institutions are lawful or unlawful wolem nyin tika jube doku bundalu anim molu kunkilin nali e kolu mennuke fodum wol ni loi tatale bam fo ni loi manta and that is independent from our personal views that we hold about religion and do won intel fangul la jero fatatale ndel nga dino ñi ñe ñami so this is not about who is muslim or who is ahmadiyya ñi amanke ñin tiko jumalam muslimoti wala jumalam ahmadiyati it is all about whether section 25 of the constitution have been violated walam na constitution o loi mem be ñim banko sambakan ala bunda muang ani lulu njang fo wo loi ti ñaatale famanti ñaa thank you thank you number uh you may have been aware that a lot of pronouncements have been made against the ahmadiyya correct si keno ibota ñin kalama ko kuma jamal le fotaye menu foka ahmadiya ahmadiya lu tumiyala fo e e bota ko kalama le ba ah yes uh, we have received na kaito soto jang one letter that was written by the ahmadiya to the president letter of soto nta meya lon ko ahmadiya lu ya sa feka ki president ngoye the letter is dated 10th august 1997 Later on in August Karo till Tang 1997 was sang along as a feta Mr Chair this is exhibit 117C Ni Musa de Kaito la nombaleti 117C in that letter we later on call the Ahmadiyya complaint Ahmadiyya lu wasita that there's a threat to persecute the Ahmadi Muslims so silanda beje ko aseke ye ahmad muslimo lu muta ke man tora ke silandi ka ku ke la nyim banko kan that is their complaint wala keta ila wa sio dat and in paragraph 2 of the letter letter on nyin na sappa fula njango nyin kono they said as follows nyin kuma kangol le foje that somebody o mo soton ta said me nyim foko that the ahmadi should be taken to 22nd july square we nyanda ahmadi alu sambala 22nd july square wala mbanjunu baye ba nyenti asked to convert to islam ya foye ye tubi ye ke muslimoti or be killed wala ye fa in sharia sharia la karol does anybody folu molu soton tale have the right men yo nyanto soto to make this pronouncement pour que ñin kuma kam fa songu fo ay ñine ngal ha ke ñine ngal yes the question is in sharia ha la ñine ngaru mu ñinde fo sharia ngo kono does anybody have the right fo mo mon mo soto nda men si o ñanto soto or the power for for instance wala ka sembo soto to make this pronouncement ñin kuma kam fa songu fo that the ahmadis fo ahmadiyalu be taken to makati square july 22nd square koy samba makati square watro lay ka fuje july 22nd square be asked to convert to islam ya fo ye tubi ye ke muslim multi or be killed wala ye fa would such a pronouncement be lawful in sharia fodum wo kuma kam fa songo abe tilin na le sharia wala karola ban ka fo ku tilin ni wolom ekoy o letter o yo letter o sa fa wati jama What time did you say that letter was written? Uh, 1997. 1997 sangoko. Na me la right person minyanta wo correction o jabela. I think the right person to answer that question for me a letter or sign or member is the one whose signature is on the letter. Uh, I am uh, I understand what you saying. Na faham le be mem foka. but imam or imam you have a degree in islamic law it a fango degree le soto makam le soto islam la loi la karola 
You are the president of the Supreme Islamic Council. Supreme Islamic Council, the president. You have a responsibility to help build peace and social cohesion in this country. Your wisdom and knowledge in Islam can help this country a great deal. And this is one of those periods that your country needs you. To help it understand what can be done in the name of the religion and what cannot be done in the name of the religion. And I ask you this question. Is it lawful in Saria for anybody to call to say a group of people be brought and be forced to convert to Islam or be killed. Is that lawful in Islam? Actually, Actually, between me and Mr. Fall, if he does not want us to be here until the next day, because we are surely going to be here until the sun sets, this is a letter that was written. The one that wrote it, why was he instructed to make this uh, statement? Only that person alone can answer questions regarding this letter. <laughs> I cannot answer that question here till the next morning. Uh, Imam, is it not true that in Islam, Islam you cannot force anybody to convert into Islam? As it are not a you cannot do it because because I have the Sunda. Because he, he has to be willing from his heart. And you cannot reach a person's heart. Mm -hmm. and, and the Islamic religion itself prohibits such conduct, doesn't it? I don't Islam dino fang. I The work of Islam is to love people and wish that all of them embrace the religion. To come in peace, to come in, uh, in cordiality, but for all of them to be Muslims is the wish of every one who is in the work of Islam. And by extension, it is prohibited and to force and anybody to convert forcefully into Islam. It is prohibited, isn't it? And when I tell you, Sila Kilimukam, what are you mutong letter? Purka Molu Muta K. If force K. Nati K. Force to to bind Islam. More more to bind the law. No one can. No one can. No one can. No one can forcefully convert someone into Islam. It is the heart that converts. The tongue does not convert. You are telling us about possibilities. Exactly. Whether it is possible or not possible. Amunda ebenye na foka nyeng kulu menusi keno ase keno le wala ate keno la. I am not asking that question. Nde mandara wo nyinin kakang. What I am asking. Nde me nyinin kakang. That from your infinite wisdom. In Islam and Saria, Islam and in Saria, is it not prohibited? For to force anybody to convert into Islam. Purka momuta ka force to to bindi kadundi Islam okon. Force to do not. There is no force in religion. You because have told us that, that before. 
Because when you hear force, it's either you do it or else something else will happen. That is force. What, what did they not? That is not in the religion. But isn't the effort to make that force itself prohibited? You cannot force someone. His time will be wasted and your time too will be wasted. Yeah, Imam, you are talking you telling us about the practicality of it. I am not talking about that. I want you to educate this commission. In Sharia. Sharia la Karola. Is it not prohibited to force anybody to convert into Islam? Is it not prohibited? That is a yes or a no answer. Throughout Gambia. That is not in this country, throughout, not in this Gambia. We know it's not here. What we are asking you is it is is it prohibited in Islam? Fenkari haramta niminte kelano. Im kukuflalum. You know something that is a keno. Something that is a manjan na kela. But minte kelano ibuga hoko haramda. Mote mo porosela no kake misili mote. It's impossible. Well, nobody can force anybody to become a Muslim or to convert because Islam. because Islam is in the heart. Because if you force somebody, he will become a hypocrite. That because, is even, because that will be even worse than what the deed you have done. Because that person will in fact fear you than even Allah. Uh, would it be Islamic? For Islam will to say uh, that a particular individual should be forced to convert into Islam. Honey. No. Thank you very much. So therefore it is prohibited. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, and equally call that particular individuals be killed because they do not believe in Islam. That is prohibited, isn't it? It's like, it's like <laughs> Council Paul wants to outsmartly. <laughs> You have answered my question, only that you are not aware of it. There is no force in religion. Exactly. And to call for the killing of an individual because that individual has not accepted Islam is also unlawful in Islam. It must come with a reason. And what reason could that possibly be? Because the one that says that that particular person should be killed should be the one to advance the reasons for that action. But can you tell us under Islamic law, under what circumstances would such an act be acceptable? Saying, l'Islam la sarto lu koto. Ita si munefono nyenye wose keno sarta juma nyole kanga fu inyanta karifala mungali la juma nyole se awo kendi no. Dalilo le minu se awo kendi no. The reasons to make that happen? Ah. 
This is now a prison. Supreme Islamic Council concern puru kawulu jangkunde. And I am, I am here to bring to light things that are concerning the Supreme Islamic Council. Because I will represent in this Iranka. Because uh, it is the council that I represent on this seat. So I am here to the Supreme Council concern. So I think issues that concern the Supreme Islamic Council, those are the things that are quick for me to bring to light. So I beg the council on that. Uh, yes, Mr. Uh, yeah, Imam, uh, I am raising these questions not because I want to waste your time. Yeah, Imam, many of you are not going to be able to do that. But we want you to help the commission understand what acts are permissible in Islam and what are not permissible. So we want you to understand because it is alleged that certain statements were made for the interest and benefit of Islam. So we ask you, what is the Islamic position on statements of this nature? So we ask you, what is the simple reason? And we are not even asking you whether those statements were true or false. All we want to know La is whether these statements are permissible to be made in Islam. Because my education in Islam tells me that Islam is one of the most tolerant religions. It is also the most just religion that I know. And it is the only religion I know which encapsulates almost all of human rights in the Quran. And that is the reason why I ask you these questions, whether it is permissible. In Islam, Islam to say that a particular person should be killed because the person has refused to accept Islam. For Islam Even if I had not sworn, this question that you have asked on the reasons why someone should be killed in the name of Islam. Even if I had not sworn, and that answer needs to be researched, most especially if you swore. That which is easier, the one that said that they should be killed. Who said his reasons are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6? You ask him whether it is necessary that these individuals be killed. Maybe your answer is so near. Maybe that answer will then be easier. But what the reasons are? You know, if you were to answer that, you speak in the name of God to say that this is what God says. That is not an easy thing. You must research and get authentic reasons for such action. Uh, Mr. Chair, it's 1.30. Perhaps we can take our first break. 
Thank you, Council. And uh, thank you, Imam Toure. Uh, Council, do we have uh, a copy of the Supreme Islamic Council Constitution? If we don't, Emma, can we try to get it during the break? Uh, we, we, have, to say. we have asked the Ministry of Justice. They could not find it. A related um, question is when and where the Constitution was um, promulgated, uh, adopted by, was it at the first um, Congress of the Supreme Council? Or? Uh, yes, uh, that is what I was given to understand in uh, 1992. Can we have um, uh, silence in the back there, please? We're not. Ako menu be koma lukare ali de domandi mfonse nyomo ino konoto jambang. Sorry, Council, can you just clarify the point there, was it? Yes, we are given to understand that uh, the Constitution was adopted uh, perhaps at a Congress at the Independent Stadium in 1992. Obviously, it would have been filed with the Ministry of Justice. Uh, we did inquire with the Solicitor General. They, they have looked extensively. They are yet to find it. Uh, Imam, I presume you can... Uh, confirm that you don't have a copy of the Constitution with you here, do you? Imam, Chairman, ko abe mengine nka kanke dani. For Supreme Islamic Council, the Constitutional Kitabu fabe bulleban. Nampong kanta la pruni surata. I brought it along in case it is needed. Oh, marvelous! Th that would be helpful. Spend Thank you. Splendid. Thank if you. we can get them, I get a copy uh, of that one. Indeed. And I'm glad also that he somehow uh, confirmed that. Uh, He's here to talk about the Supreme Islamic Council Indeed. and not Kakawando Kijandukaru, Sisi Kunangola, Kakawando Tatu Kunango, Bulokola, and the Mabaki. But uh, we will take a one hour break um, for lunch, and uh, the Imam can go and have good lunch as the tourists do. <laughs> Thank you. Meetings adjourned.